Hey, welcome back to another video. And today I want to share a small Bitwig only project with you. And it's a little housey techno roof. And I already posted a small video on Instagram and Twitter. But I also wanted to make a small uh, YouTube video or full length video about it to show you some of the ingredients of this project. And as I said, this uh, project is completely Bitwig based. So I only used instruments and effects from Bitwig Studio. So when you have a running license uh, from Bitwig Studio 3.0, you can just open this up and run it. On some of the buses, I have a smart compressor installed, which I really like because it's, it goes out of my way when I'm creating tracks. Um, I just put this on, uh, push this button, and it analyzes the signal and calculates all the right values for threshold, ratio, attack, release, and so on. And to have you covered when you don't have this installed, um, I will add a compressor by Bitwig Studio and copy all the settings, all the values over to the Bitwig compressor. So I leave the instance of Smart Compressor in, so you can use it when you have it installed, but, but when you don't have it installed, then you can use the uh, compressor by Bitwig Studio as backup, the same settings. Also on the master here, I have an Ozone Elements 8 plugin, and I will also clone or copy the values over to the big limiter. That's, that's basically the only two cases where I use the VST in this uh, project here. But I leave it in and copy the values over so you have a backup if you don't have it installed. Um, also, I used a lot of modulation here. I don't, uh, not modulation, automation. I used a lot of automation and I don't use modulation because sometimes um, it's too complicated or it takes too too long time. You know, um, um, you know when you're creating something and then you try to wire up some modulations and some uh, chain some devices and it takes too long and then you are out of your creative process for too long. So um, in this case here, uh, for me, it was faster just to paint in all the automation to have the exact right uh, movements in the sound at the right point. So uh, don't shy away from using the automation. It's uh, also a great tool. You don't have, you don't need to have uh, complex modulators all the time or complex grid. Uh, for instance, here I have a pretty basic grid uh, patch just for the plug sounds. Um, it don't. It's it's not necessary you have to have complex uh, stuff in your project all the time. And um, yeah, I wanted to show this in this uh, case here with this project. Also with the, uh, with the polysynth, I have a lot of movement and I just painted this in. And I just painted one clip, basically the rest is just copied over to all the other, other clips. So it looks m more complicated than it is, basically. And yeah, I just show you how it sounds. So a small little housey groove, nothing special, pretty generic, but I think it's a great starting point when you try to create something uh, in this genre, then you have a nice starting point, everything set up, the right kick drum, you have a bass running, everything leveled out, you can just go in and paint some melodies, some chords, something like this. Or maybe you are an inexperienced producer, then and you don't know how to create such sounds with uh, with the Bitwig internal instruments, then this is also maybe a great starting point 
uh, for you. You can also go in and bounce out some stems if you need something for other tracks. That's also a possibility. And yeah, you can tweak it um, and b uh, build upon it. So um, that's uh, maybe an interesting project for you. It's free to use. I put it in my GitHub repository. I also put the link in the description to this repository. And um, yeah, that's it basically about this project. There's nothing more to say, I think. It's pretty basic and pretty easy to understand and to learn. The second thing I wanted to talk about is this website here, bitwig.community. I already made a video about it. And it should be used as a start page where you go in and see all the links collected together on one page. And I recently added a small feature, which is this here, where I go to Twitter, take all the tweets from Twitter that contains the word Bitwig inside and put it here in a list. Also, I use RSS feeds where I um, use some selected RSS feeds to get the newest Bitwig uh, news forum posts and so on. Um, at the moment, there is uh, um, Reddit, the Reddit forum inside where I get all the newest posts. And my forum is inside and I think I'll also use the bitwig.com site and some uh, some blogs, some music blogs, cdm.com, I think I used also. But I just scan for the word Bitwig. So when there is a blog post without Bitwig, with the word Bitwig, then it doesn't appear on the site. So when you next time go to Twitter and tweet something, make sure you put in uh, Bitwig. Uh, the word Bitwig, you also can use at Bitwig, um, that's also working, or hashtag Bitwig, um, then you appear on this site here. This site itself is a static page. It's a basic um, HTML page with some regular CSS, but the site itself will be generated every 30 minutes. There's a ground job running, and every 30 minutes I scrape all the information from Twitter and RSS feeds, generate a HTML page and then put it on this uh, domain here. So this is updated regularly, okay? Um, this was the, the second news I wanted to tell you and also my project here, which is downloadable in my GitHub repository. And I think I closed down this video at this point. So um, have fun with it. And yeah, new videos are coming. Um, I already get uh, got some nice suggestions for new videos, but I have to make sure I'm, I tell you the right things because some of the uh, themes or topics I am not so familiar with uh, because I am basically a music maker. I make music. I am not so technical. Um, yeah, informed, uh, so some of the crit stuff still goes over my head, it's too advanced. And um, a lot of people want to create very advanced things inside the crit. I don't think uh, that the, um, the crit is made for this. I think it's still uh, made more for people that just want to create some sounds and uh, more like an advanced sound design tool. But people still um yeah there are some people out there that basically use this as a reactor um um clone or reactor um tool where they go in and create some experiments and some instruments and it's pretty fine um but as i said i'm not familiar with all those topics but i try to make some videos about it because also i want to learn it i want to learn it and um, some of the topics are pretty interesting, but there will be some videos uh, in the next days coming. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, next video. Bye.